Healthy planet, healthy people. Dear friends, colleagues, citizens of the world, today I want to talk to you about an essential connection that often goes overlooked in discussions about health, the link between the health of our planet and the health of its people. As a family doctor, I've seen firsthand the profound impact that environmental factors can have on the well being of individuals and communities. That's why I believe it is crucial for us to recognize and address this interconnectedness. And I am here to discuss the role that family doctors play in promoting the idea of healthy planet, healthy people. First and foremost, family doctors serve as advocates for preventive healthcare measures. We understand that preventive illness is often more effective and less costly than treating it. And that includes addressing the environmental factors that contribute to poor health. Whether it is air and water pollution, exposure to toxins or the impacts of climate change, we know that these environmental stressors can have serious consequences for human health. By raising awareness among our patients and communities about the importance of environmental stewardship, we can help prevent a wide range of health problems before they ever occur. Furthermore, family doctors are uniquely positioned to promote healthy lifestyles that not only benefit individual patients, but also contribute to a healthier planet. From encouraging regular physical activity and nutritious eating habits, to promoting sustainable transportation options and reducing energy consumption, we can help our patients make choices that are not only good for their own health, but also for the health of the environment. By emphasizing the connection between personal and planetary well-being, we can inspire positive change on both fronts. Additionally, family doctors play a crucial role in identifying and addressing the health impacts of environmental degradation and climate change. Whether it's treating respiratory problems exacerbated by air pollution, addressing heat-related illness during extreme weather events, or managing the mental health effects of natural disasters, we are on the front lines of caring for patients affected by environmental crisis. By staying informed about the latest research and best practices in environmental medicine, we can provide our patients with the highest quality care while also advocating for policies and initiatives that protect public health and the environment. Finally, family doctors have a responsibility to lead by example when it comes to environmental sustainability, whether it's reducing waste in our practices, advocating for environmentally friendly healthcare policies, or participating in community cleanup efforts, we can demonstrate our commitment to the health of the planet in both our personal and professional lives. By embodying the principles of healthy planet, healthy people in everything we do, we can inspire others to join us in building a healthier, more sustainable world for generations to come. In conclusion, the concept of healthy planet, healthy people is not just a slogan, it's a call to action for all of us to recognize and address the fundamental connections between human health and the health of our planet and the health of our environment. As family doctors, we have a vital role to play in promoting this vision, both in our practices and in our communities and as Wonka in the world by working together to raise awareness, promote healthy lifestyles and advocate for environmental protection, we can create a world where both people and the planet will thrive. Thank you very much. I'm speaking to you in my role as president-elect of the World Organization of Family Doctors. Happy Family Doctors Day, healthy people, healthy planet, thank you.
Okay, uh, good morning, uh, everyone from Sri Lanka. I'm Sankar Randhani Kumara, Dr. Sankar Randhani Kumara, a family doctor from Sri Lanka. Uh, and also, I'm the chair elect of Wonka Working Party uh, on Planetary Health. Uh, thank you, everyone, for being here today. Uh, so, we are here uh, to talk about the World Family Doctor Day. Uh, which uh, falls on 19th of May uh, in every year. And this year, uh, our theme is healthy planet, healthy people. And uh, I think uh, I should not uh, reiterate the importance of uh, this theme because we all, we all know that uh, Earth is facing uh, an unprecedented uh, environment challenges these days, uh, and we are talking about triple planetary crisis, where not only climate change, the pollution, and also uh, biodiversity loss is happening. And as family doctors who are the frontliners, we experience uh, this day to day, not only from our environment, but also from the stories we hear from our patients. And uh, we see the impact of climate change on our communities. Uh, from rising temperature, uh, increasing extreme weather events, and uh, also um, escalating uh, challenges such as uh, infectious diseases. Uh, for example, it's very hot these days in Sri Lanka. It's, it has never been like this before. So we see it, we feel it day to day. And uh, why, I, I would ask why, why, why family doctors should intervene to this? Uh, I would say two reasons. One is we are the people who are closest to the hearts of the people because we are the first contact people in the communities. And uh, whenever there is a health problem or health related issue, people come to us as patients or not as patients, as clients, and they have been there with us uh, throughout their life. So that is, that is the, the importance of being a family doctor and what we really enjoy as family doctors. So with the core values of, uh, core values of family medicine, um, it's always, we, we offer not only first contact care, we also offer personalized care to them. And more or less, family doctors are one of the most trusted partners, healthcare partners, I would say, in our patients' lives. So um, we are, I think, in a position to advocate our communities, our patients about climate change and how to, how to face this climate change. And not only that, we are also in a position to advocate them, to discuss with them about the impact of climate change and how could they uh, help to mitigate this and how could from their side how could from their side they could they can uh, help the environment help the planet that is one part the other thing is as family doctors we have a big responsibility uh, the research findings say that in most of the country countries the, the carbon footprint that is the greenhouse gases emitted emitted uh, is about 5% of the total greenhouse gases. It's about 5% is from healthcare. So from the total greenhouse gases, or let's say total um, greenhouse gases, which, which, are, which are responsible for global warming, 5% of that is from healthcare. And out of that, the, out of this 5% or the out of the greenhouse gases related to healthcare, 
twenty percent is from primary care or where we work. So I think uh, in from that also there's a we, we can understand the importance of family doctors uh, work. Uh, important family doctors uh, intervention in climate change related activities because we need to reduce this. So in different ways, we are thinking of reducing this. For an example, in rational prescribing, uh, prudent investigations and referrals, and also advising our patients on lifestyle modification where we can prevent diseases rather than treating them. Uh, and also, like this, we can uh, advocate uh, not the communities and our patients on uh, climate change. And in our clinics, we can, of course, uh, take uh, steps to save energy and uh, manage our waste in a better way and uh, reduce uh, uh, waste by doing eco-friendly communication. And not only that, we as healthcare professionals and uh, our team uh, team leaders, we can make uh, we can make our teams ourselves, our teams, our patients. Um, we can encourage them to active traveling options where. Uh, we have understood that patient traveling and staff traveling has major contribution to uh, carbon footprint in primary care and also by being role models. So I think uh, as family doctors, we have a big role to play in these ways by encouraging our patients to be more uh, environment friendly and also them to uh, uh, by by making them understand about climate change and also in our practices we can practice actively green sustainable practices green practices and making our practices more green so uh, uh, these are the key messages I want to give and uh, my colleagues will uh, tell more about this uh, thank you uh, Diamond, thank you everyone Thanks, Sanka. Um, our next speaker uh, from Australia is Dr. Catherine Pendry. Uh, over to you, Catherine. Hello, my name is Dr. Catherine Pendry, and I'm a family doctor from Australia. And I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners from the lands that we're all joining on today. Normally, we spend World Family Doctor Day talking about the many health benefits of having a regular family doctor. But this year, we've decided to focus on addressing the climate crisis. As family doctors, we're absolutely committed to promoting the health and well-being of individuals and communities. But you can't promote health effectively without addressing climate change and safeguarding planetary health. It's often said that an apple a day keeps the doctor away, but an apple a day won't keep the doctor away unless we address the climate crisis. Climate change is a global public health emergency. Family doctors around the world are seeing the devastating impacts of the climate crisis on patients and communities every day, more and more. Bushfires, heat waves, floods and storms kill, and they're more frequent and more severe because of climate change. Extreme weather events also cause mental and physical trauma. They spread diseases and they disrupt livelihoods. And the impacts are often very long lasting. As family doctors, we have a role in reducing the emissions of healthcare and increasing the resilience of communities around the world to climate change. And we do that by keeping people healthy and out of hospital. That makes them more resilient and reduces emissions. But we also need our world leaders to step up. Wonka has led family doctors from around the world in uniting to call on world leaders to transition away from fossil fuels and invest in renewable energy. 
that is essential to protect the health and well-being of people around the world. We're in a climate emergency, and if our leaders don't act urgently, it will be too late. Continuing to expand fossil fuels right now is like buying cigarettes for a patient with stage four lung cancer. Air pollution from fossil fuels are estimated to cause one in five deaths globally, and yet we're seeing new fossil fuel developments continue to be developed every day. We must act now to address climate change and safeguard the health of the world's people. The connection between the health of our planet and the well-being of its people cannot be overstated. Family doctors are consistently ranked as one of the most trusted sources of information, and we must play a pivotal role in educating patients and communities about how protecting the environment directly benefits our health. By practicing sustainability in healthcare, we ensure that future generations can access care without depleting the planet's resources. So, as family doctors, we're standing up to take action on climate change and to call for our leaders to stand up as well. Thanks very much. Rajas is the, uh, the president of Fiji uh, College of General Practitioners. Uh, we're very grateful for him joining us today. Yes, thank you. Uh, it's, uh, it's a pleasure to be, uh, to be um, you know, given this opportunity uh, to talk on this very important subject matter. And I'd like to start by saying that uh, uh, the effect of climate change in Fiji, uh, uh, we have, we, we've had two unimaginable cyclones. Uh, the, first, uh, the first was Cyclone Winston and the other one was Cyclone Yasa. And these two cyclones have really uh, sort of shook us, shook us hard. And uh, we've just, uh, uh, we've just had winds up to 300, and 300 to 360 kilometers an hour, category one cyclone. So that's something that was really, really tragic and really very um, uh, difficult for us. Um, but somehow with God's grace, we overcome it. There, there, there were mortalities, but it, it wasn't that severe. But the in infrastructure damage and the damage uh, to plants and crops was really, really severe. For a country like Fiji, um, uh, uh, for that matter, a small country like Fiji, uh, we are definitely seeing the uh, the the effects of uh, climate change. And for uh, uh, for us as doctors, uh, for Fiji and for the whole of the world, uh, I would like to just uh, share and say that uh, uh, the the one aspect of climate change that we often we which, which I feel that uh, uh, that the scientific community, the doctors that we, we are neglecting or maybe neglecting is the, 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 the food aspect, uh, the, the animal, animal industri industry that, uh, that, um, that contributes uh, to the, uh, to the uh, greenhouse, greenhouse uh, gas emissions. Uh, for instance, we know that the, uh, the, uh, the uh, cattle industry, the pig industry, the, uh, um, uh, the lamb industry, uh, there is, uh, excess uh, release of methane in the in the atmosphere and methane is 20 times more powerful than carbon dioxide in damaging the ozone layer and and therefore there is, this is a very important important angle to climate change and this is something that we can immediately bring about a change in our personal lives and, and on a personal level on an uh, on in the, at the community level at the country level at institutional levels that we we should uh, turn more towards plant diet plant diet and this is something that i i am advocating a lot in our, in my conferences and and uh, and in my country because definitely there is there is a lot of evidence that if we if we uh, if we are to save the planet, th this is one very important and a major step that we all should take. And this will also lead to a greater reduction in the hunger problem uh, in this world. So we see as a result of the, uh, of, of, uh, um, the animal industry, 
uh, uh, the beef industry and 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 other animal industry, chicken farming and and lamb farming and uh, and so forth. The acres and acres of land is uh, is um, uh, is cut, the forests are cut down, and acres of acres of land is used for the grazing of animals. And uh, and uh, and there's a lot of uh, uh, ecosystem damage and a lot of and damage to the uh, to the uh, bio biodiversity. So I think that that is that is one very important aspect of uh, aspect of um, uh, 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 aspect of. Uh, uh, of climate change that we don't often talk about and something that uh, we can we clearly uh, work towards and uh, and we can make a make a um, uh, uh, make a uh, immediate immediate effects to our to our carbon carbon foot footprints and uh, and a healthy planet a healthy people I like I like the theme I I, I thank all the doctors and uh, I uh, I'm uh, I would like to I like to continue to, to be part of this discussion and uh, and I'm also personally I'm a very very strong advocate of um, uh, of plant based diet plus a healthy living because here in Fiji we have we have NCDs the non communicable diseases are devastating devastating uh, uh, consequences of NCDs we have the we have the highest number of importations uh, importations in the world and we are. Uh, amongst uh, we are more or less the top, uh, uh, if not the amongst the top, but we are we are uh, we are we are amongst the top of uh, uh, top uh, top in terms of uh, 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 death by uh, death and uh, mortality and severity of cardiovascular disease. So we really need to uh, focus on diet on a natural diet, which we can very well do in Fiji. And I would uh, I would uh, in any way our one car doctors and 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 one car family friends can help help us even more i know uh, dr karen flag is uh, coming uh, the young one president is coming uh, on the 31st of may to our uh, conference and is speaking is speaking to us and we will uh, we will uh, 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 further our discussions in this regard and i thank once again uh, you all very very much for having me uh, on this program thank you very much god bless uh, uh, i'll invite maria also just to to say some words um, to close us out Hello, uh, I'm Maria Pilar Astier Peña, family doctor in Zaragoza, Spain. I belong to the Spanish Society for Family and Community Medicine, and I'm one of the member of large of Wonka Executive Board. I'm delighted to be here and to share with you the celebration of the World uh, Family Doctor Day uh, dedicated to the uh, planetary health um, and the health of the people. Uh, well, uh, just to say some words, um, we have really evidence that to have a family doctor is a health protector factor for the uh, health of the people and uh, we know as well that uh, there is an intimate connection between uh, the health of the planet and the health of the people we acknowledge that uh, issue for many years and for many civilizations we have not to um to uh, consider it finally um there is uh, um, uh, um uh, our our role as family doctor is uh, to care and respect for for the people, but to care and respect for the planet in order to address our Wonka mission, uh, that is to increase the quality of life of the people of the world. So this Wonka mission addresses perfectly our uh, theme of this uh, World Family Doctor Day: uh, the health of the planet and the health of the people. As uh, Sanka and Catherine and Rahens has already described clearly, we have evidence that the impact of the change uh, in the climate due to the human activities directly is quite intense. Um, it affects um, regarding the food production and may cause a big uh, impact um, on the communities, uh, such as the recent floods of Brazil, storm, heat waves, and they have a, a long lasting effect and I think that's uh, important for the health of our communities. Therefore, as family doctors, uh, we have to work uh, with the community to address it. Our facts and say has a uh, really impact. They are key examples because we, we are uh, viewed by the community. So we are key examples uh, to make a, a change on the health of the planet. And we have to consider several um, issues. First, to arise awareness 
on the impact of the human activities of every patient and uh, our um, health professionals in our teams, including uh, the impact of the healthcare service we are providing and the use of medication and Sanka uh, explained before. Then to promote green and sustainable decisions with our patients and um, follow up these decisions uh, to make a minute for the planet in our consultations is clearly a message that the uh, Wonka uh, Environment Working Party have uh, promoted recently. And um, we have to make uh, an agreement with our patients, uh, with our team uh, to implement these small changes that make big impact on the health of the planet. Finally, as uh, Catherine said before, uh, to make health policy advocacy in our communities and uh, in our patients that have an impact as well with the role, with the actions and standing up for the health of the planet. So I hope uh, everyone um, change their, their position and try to make a small action to, be, uh, to make a big change for the health of the planet. Thank you very much. I'd like to send our regards uh, from Wonka Europe Executive Board on this uh, instrumental issue that is a healthy planet, healthy people, and uh, the humankind future that depends on it. We are experts on communication. We communicate with our patients every day, and we should consider that big changes, as Pilar said, start with um, small actions. So we think that small actions in our surgery, in our everyday contact with our patients are important okay. because we are, they are role well, models. Right. So we invite every doctor to start with small actions like uh, taking a uh, into account how to reduce our carbon footprint in our um, a prescription, but also reducing our waste in our surgery. And then also in our meetings and also promoting um, tele-meetings instead of uh, traveling as much as we do every day. And also to take into account that as communication experts we are, we should send cost-effective messages related with um, motivation, as we know, motivational interview. Not everybody is in the same stage, so we should consider those who are not receptive, who are considering change, and those who are on the verge of changing, and those who have changed. So, um, invest in a cost-effective way and always consider that we are always being watched by our, our community. So at least if you can't do big changes, start by doing small changes, not only on this particular day, but on every, days, every day that we go to our um, surgery and also try to influence not only on our patient, but also on our team because our team and our colleagues and our community, because uh, they are also the future to implement change. And uh, as Pilar also said, uh, in Europe, we have a very strong Wonka Europe working party on policy advisory. We think that in the future, it could also play a big role to try to influence in Brussels, that is the center where um, political decisions are, are made. So thank you very much for having this opportunity to address you and uh, uh, kind regards from Wonka Europe. Our president, uh, Shlomo Vinga, has not been able to, be, to, to join this meeting, but uh, we are happy to collaborate in this uh, event as much as possible. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jose. And uh, yeah, I'd like to echo your sentiments that big changes start from small beginnings. It's been a small beginning here today, uh, but we do have another press conference later on for uh, the other part of the world, and we have 24 registrants for that. So hopefully we get a little bit more engagement and we can yeah exactly get the ball rolling as we lead up to the 19th of May and uh, have a 
uh, a big splash and a big impact on World Family Doctor Day. Okay. Hello. Can I can I say one last thing? Of course. Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, thank you. Uh, we we also uh, at uh, um, the the one one car family. I think we also need to uh, take a very very strong stand against against these wars that is going in 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 certain parts of the world, like in in Euro Europe and Asia, uh, and the impact impact of these wars. Uh, the the wars the impact of the war on the uh, on the lives of the people uh, and we know it's very very severe and the difficulties that our doctors are going through and uh, and and innocent people are being killed and of course there is like so much of as a result of these missiles you know going up in the going up in the air and now there is a threat of a nuclear war um, uh, so um, so this will definitely, at the moment, this, this definitely leads to uh, leads to um, climate uh, climate change and and um, uh, and gray, uh, greenhouse gas emissions. So, at, uh, you know, uh, I I really would like to suggest that we the the, the entire Wonka family we take a very strong stand against against the wars that is going uh, in the world, and we are not going in the right in, in the right direction. So, just my humble suggestion. Um, yeah. Absolutely. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, I totally agree. I think um, militarism is definitely a, a, a huge and the, mil the military sector and wars is a big um, polluter that is uh, not really discussed, especially by some of the bigger countries in the world. And I think yeah, some more, more voices need to be heard uh, in that respect. Mm -hmm. um, OK, I think I do agree as well. Thank you for highlighting this, this issue. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, I think we'll finish up there. Have a nice day, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much Thank for you. your help, Timur. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.